I would say I've got a lot of people that are, there, there are a few naysayers out there, but I've got so many supportive people that there is nothing that I've ever achieved in my, in my career that wasn't um, due to someone else helping me or giving me advice or, you know, I have lots of people I consider mentors and everything like that. I would even say it goes way, way back to, you know, my, my father started his own company when I was four years old. so. I don't actually, to me, being an entrepreneur is normal. You know, a lot of people are like, how in the world can you strike out on your own? To me, I don't actually know anything different. I, you know, I, I grew up with that. And, you know, I just along those lines, my family always support. I, I was never told that I probably couldn't do something. And so I never believed that I couldn't. I, I've failed plenty of times in many, many things, but I never truly believed that I couldn't do something. And, and uh, again, sometimes I've been proven wrong, but more often I've learned a lot and and done it again or, or tried again and, and done better. So I think it's just, a, in a way, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an optimist in, 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 in that sense. I, I love it, man. So, so Greg, how will the workplace change over the next decade? And how can companies prepare for, we're seeing